If you have osteoporosis, you have no doubt only been told to work on impact exercises. But I have many clients that can't jump and can't do that kind of impact without having an increase in pain. So what do they do? In this video, I'm gonna talk about a great exercise that you can do at home, no equipment, called mountain climbers, and you can easily modify it. I'll show you ways in which you can make it more challenging, and also I'll demonstrate ways in which you can make it a whole lot easier. All right, so let's do this. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Ed Dubu, physical therapist from Integrated Physical Therapy in now beautiful, sunny, and almost 80 degrees, Bellingham, Washington. In my clinic, I see a lot of clients, unfortunately, that have low bow density or full-on osteoporosis. And I implore them to get into the habit of exercising 10 minutes a day. Give me 10 minutes of strengthening exercises every single day. And I'm purposeful about 10 minutes because it's not too long. It doesn't require you to go to a gym. Maybe it requires you to get some equipment, although mountain climbers doesn't. Uh, but what I'm trying to do is eliminate excuses so I can get people to exercise because you know what? Any exercise is better than no exercise. So let's just jump right into it. This exercise is called mountain climbers. The way I demonstrate this exercise is ideally you've got like a couch or something that you can hold on to that's firm, that's not gonna go sliding. So you're gonna get into the position here. You're gonna lean slightly angled now you'll notice that my heels are flat against the floor. Now for some people, that's already gonna give you a little stretch through your calves. And if you get a little stretch through your calves, that's a bonus, but if it's too much of a stretch, just kinda of come up onto your tippy toes just a little bit here. Now you notice my back is straight. I'm not rounding out my back. I'm not flexing at my spine. My spine is straight. My head is in a neutral position. I'm not doing this, which tends to crunch upper cervical spine. So I'm basically in a straight line. My elbows are locked. My scapulas are back and down. So kind of scapula in the back pocket to engage the muscles in between my shoulder blades. I'm going to engage my core by bringing my belly button in towards my spine. So I'm back in this position here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift one leg up first and I'm gonna pause back down the other leg and back down. I'm first just gonna get used to the movement. As I get used to the movement, and there's no problem with that, I'm gonna add a little bit of speed to this movement. As that starts to get easier, I'm gonna add a little bit more speed to it. And I'm basically gonna do this as fast as I can, comfortably, for a 30 second count. After you finish the 30 seconds, I guarantee you, you're gonna start working up a little bit of a sweat. So not only are you working on impact, but what we're doing is with that quick reaction time, we're also building power in our legs. And that's really important because think about what losing your balance is. When we've lost our balance at different times throughout our life, but we've always been able to catch ourselves. And that's reaction time. Reaction time is basically how fast we can move our legs. So you need to have exercises in your routine where you're working on power, which is basically trying to move as fast as you can comfortably for what you have going on. Now, if you have an arthritic knee or arthritic hip, you may not be able to go that fast, but I do want you to kind of push yourself as fast as you can comfortably and without pain. Now, the fun part, let's get into some of the modifications. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do five quick repetitions on each leg, and then I'm gonna do five push-ups, and then I'm gonna repeat that. So this is what it looks like. So I'm assuming the position, my heels are up a little bit, I'm engaging my upper core, my scapula in the back pocket, I bring my belly button in towards my spine, my head is neutral, elbows are locked, I'm ready to roll, and I'm gonna go five times, as fast as I can, and then I'm gonna add in five push-ups. Four, five. And I'll do that for three cycles. You want a quick little workout when you're traveling, you don't want to get on the floor, I'm telling you, mountain climbers followed by some push-ups, it'll get your heart rate up and get you pumped up a little bit. Now what if you want even more of a challenge and that isn't quite doing it for you? You can do the same thing on the floor. Same concept here, obviously a lot harder, but you want to be straight, you don't want to sag at the hips, you don't want to pike, you want to be nice and straight, and then you're gonna drive your knees straight up. Okay, so we'll do five of these on each leg, followed by five push-ups. <clears throat> and 
At the end of this video, I will put a link to a playlist I have where I put all my osteoporosis videos together for you just to make it easier. Now what if that's too much pressure on your arms and your wrists, but you still want to do it, but you can't do it on the floor, and even the couch kind of sometimes bothers your arm and shoulders? Not to worry, I got another modification for you. I'm taking away all your excuses. So when you're done with this video, you have to exercise. There's no way around it. All right, just come to a wall. Same concepts here. My hand is gonna be slightly lower than my shoulder. I'm gonna lean back to where I'm comfortable. If I'm getting a big calf stretch and I don't like that, just kind of gently lift up your heels just a little bit. Start by bringing one leg up, get your balance and back down. As you get the hang of it, then maybe what you do is you do two quick reps and then you pause. What if you can't lift your hip up very far because you have an arthritic hip? That's okay. Just don't bring it up so far. And remember, you can add the push-up even when you're doing against the wall. If you'd like tips for more exercises, especially dealing with osteoporosis, make sure you subscribe to the channel right down through here so you never miss another one of my videos. What I recommend with the mountain climbers, whichever version you pick, I'd like you to do that if you can for 30 seconds, take a minute or two break in between, and repeat that at least two to four times. So two to four sets, maybe start off with about three sets, give yourself a minute break or so in between, uh, but you really have to be consistent with it. You wanna be creative, you can put some ankle weights around each leg. So there's a whole lot of simple ways that you can make this harder without any real investment in special equipment or having to go to a gym. All right guys, hope you like the mountain climbers. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments down below. Let me know which version of the mountain climbers you like to do. And until next time, we will see you later. And go, go climb that mountain. Go, 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 go. Why are you still watching? Go, leave.